just win. I need him most, yeah. He steps. Right, yeah. Just win. I need him most, yeah. He steps. Right, Just win. I need him most. One more time. He steps. Right in. Just win. I need him most. Come on, girl. Just win. Him most. Come on, put your hand together. Just win, just win, just win. Him most.
is your first friend, your best friend, your friend forever? A teacher asked the boy this question. Suppose your mother baked a pie and there were seven of you, your parents and five children. What part of the pie would you get? A six, the boy replied. I'm afraid you do not know your fractions, said the teacher. Remember, there are seven of you. Yes, teacher, the boy replied, but you don't know my mother. But my mother would say she don't want any pie. Proverbs 31, 26. Proverbs 31, 26. The word of the Lord reads on this wise, Amplified Bible. She opened her mouth in skillful and godly wisdom. And the teaching of kindness is on her tongue, giving counsel and instructions. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day that has been set aside to celebrate mothers for all that they have done. As we pause to honor their many sacrifices, we are truly blessed because of their unselfish and unconditioned love. We honor their godly virtues and wisdom you have given them. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. With much prayer and consideration, I have chose today for a sermon topic, A Godly Mother. I would like to intrigue your intellect and your will. On this blessed Mother's Day, I would like to talk about a best friend, a soldier, and a warrior. One that has been with you from the ultimate of times. One that is born to be that superhero like no other. One that cuts the crust off your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. One that comforts your heart, it seems, from every hurt and pain. One that goes to the unbelievable odds to protect you. One that corrects, listens, and encourages you to be great. A mother job is never done. Today we salute and celebrate you, the queen. Take your bow, well-deserved mothers of great excellence and purpose. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. A godly mother is a woman who represents the heart of Christ to her children. She is continually aware of her influence over their lives and futures and make unselfish sacrifice whenever necessary for their welfare. Godly mothers are first godly women. There are no one like a godly mother. They are a mother of great excellence and how they act at home is also how they act in public. Even when her children don't have a godly father, a mother can have a great impact on her children's spiritual future. In this sermon today, we will survey the following. She opens her mouth, skillful and godly wisdom, the teaching of kindness, and giving counsel and instruction. She opens her mouth. Proverbs 31, 26 states, She opens her mouth with wisdom, and teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She is a virtuous, godly mother. She is truthfully and well known by God. She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. The righteousness of a godly mother lets no corruption come from her mouth. Skillful and godly wisdom. Proverbs 10.31 states, The mother of righteousness brings forth wisdom, but the perverse tongue will be cut off. She serves God with wisdom and with all of her heart. She is not deceitful, but she is honest and godly. She bridles her tongue to keep herself out of trouble. Her teachings are godly and they are a biblical 
nature of a virtuous woman. The teaching of kindness. Proverbs 16 and 24. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and the heart to the body. Her pleasant words are sweet and kind. Her words bring forth life and vitalization of health. The power of what she does is in her body and in her mind. She is always in prayer about instructions she gives. Giving counsel and instruction. Malachi 2 and 6. True instruction was in his mouth, and no wrong was found on his lips. He walked with me in peace and uprightness, and he turned many from iniquity. One that has a godly zeal, like Fanana, unnamed Milligate wife. One that gives true instruction as God gives them. One that walks in God's peace and his righteousness. A godly woman, divine calling, must be assured by her lifestyle. God calls on a wife and a mother to be a woman of strength, courage, and of wisdom. She should reply on God for everything that she needs through the thick and thin and lead her children to a knowledge of his saving grace. Proverbs 31, 10 through 12. Moreover, from this text today, we have learned the righteousness of a godly mother lets no corruption come from her mouth. Two, her teachings are godly and they are of a biblical virtuous woman. Three, she is always in prayer about the instruction she gives. Four, a godly woman's divine call must be assured by her lifestyle. Mothers, after listening to this sermon today, will you truly be that of a godly mother? Mothers, will you strive to be all God wants you to be? A mother's love is something that no one can explain. Is made of deep devotion and of sacrifice and pain. Moreover, Jesus paid the ultimate sacrifice for your salvation. Even if no salvation should come, I will be worthy of it at every moment. What you remember saves you. There is nothing more important than your eternal salvation. Salvation is very essential for believers, life, and their relationship with God. Let's pray concerning that matter called salvation. Dear Lord Jesus, we know that we are a sinner and we ask for your forgiveness. We believe that you died for our sins and rose from the dead. We turn from our sins and we invite you to come into our heart. We want to trust and follow you as our personal Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 states, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and there is no of our own doing. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. It is only befitting today that we pray to God concerning mothers. Please bow your heads for a word of prayer. Our most gracious and heavenly Father, we would like to say thank you for creating mothers and for giving them the ability that you have given them. We are so honored to have their unconditional love and guidance. We ask that you truly wrap your arms around them and let them feel your grace, your mercy, and your peace. We thank you for their lives. Please give them the strength, the hope, and encouragement they ever so urgently need. Be with them now and forevermore. In your darling son, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. May your mother's lives truly be very prosperous and of good health. And may you be truly blessed. Always remember that wisdom of a godly mother comes from above. 
See you next Sunday. We will conclude our sermon series called In Your Feelings, Part 4. God bless you. Praise God from whom blessings flow.